So Matt and Ron today, we're uh, putting some radiant heat down here on the single wide trailer project, basement for the single wide trailer project. Uh, we run two 500 foot loops of tubing. A lot of people say you can't run 500 foot loops, but if you have the right pump, you can run a 500 foot loop. Most important thing is to have your loops the same length because we have we have four pipes coming out of there. Each loop is the same exact length so that it flows properly because thermodynamics water will flow the same in each loop if they're the same. It makes it a lot easier when you hook your uh, boiler and stuff up or your water heater um, because water will just flow through there even you don't have to have balancing valves or any of that stuff. You don't need uh, anything, any fancy valves. You can just make a valve out of a piece of copper. You can. It's real simple. So we put some Nadura um, wall forms in today put two inches of polystyrene underneath with wire mesh we tied the tube into the wire mesh with like bread ties pretty much like rebar ties real easy a lot easier than zip ties um, we're gonna pour the floor tomorrow when you're doing these walls it's much easier to pour the floor before you build the walls pour the floor right here after you set your first course in spray foam the course down and then you can pour your floor you can reach right over and edge your floor it's a lot easier um, also these walls when you're pouring concrete in these walls if they're full height the sun will reflect right off the wall back on the floor and your floor will dry all funny one like over here it would be really soft and over here your, your power trial would be burning right in it's a pain in the butt so uh, much easier to put your first course in just spray foam it down to the footer won't move once it dries and you can pour your floor and then build your walls and that's it for today